you know, couldn't be happier with the way he's doing. We got eight days to go, and and like Bob said, kind of when 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 he worked the other day, it was almost like, man, I wish it was this weekend and not next. But uh, in a waiting game, just hoping every day goes as well as today. Winning the Derby, to me, is kind of the the height of it. I can't imagine it getting any better than than that. But we'll see what the Triple Crown feels like. I know it, it's still pretty calm. I think next week it's going to get going to get turned up to another level because with the derby there's 20 horses that are taking focus and there's about five or six that you guys focus on uh, when we're coming to the triple crown i think a lot of the 80 percent of the attention is going to be on justified so it's going to get pretty crazy next week but you know I, I don't see it as any different than trying to win the derby i really don't i think that his talent is the is the biggest i mean he's um you know, he's obviously the best of the, of the generation. I think he's proven that. Uh, so I think it's his race to lose. Now, having said that, there's plenty of great horses that have lost the race uh, in the Belmont. So he's not a cinch by any stretch of the imagination, but he uh, is a horse with extreme talent. And I think that is his biggest attribute, that he's, you know, he's a better, he's a better horse than these horses right now. So with that being said, Will the three weeks, how will that play into it? How will the mile and a half play into it? The great thing about the Triple Crown is there's always these variables, and uh, that's what makes horse racing great, and that's why they, uh, there's gonna be 10 or 12 horses load up against him to try to beat him, and, and that's what it's all about.